Hey folks, before beginning this next video, please consider subscribing and liking the video if you enjoy what you watched because it really helps the channel grow and it helps me better understand what you guys want to see more of. Um, also, comments are great because that way we can drill down into the things that you find valuable and more informative or more entertaining. And of course, I want to bring you guys great content, so that's just the best way to deliver feedback. With all that being said, guys, let's check out the video. Hey everyone, hope you guys are staying home and that you're all safe and healthy. Uh, definitely uncertain times right now, but uh, the good news is, is that while I'm at home, I thought, you know, this is a good opportunity to maybe make a little video and install something that I got about a month ago. And that would be this guy right here. Uh, this is the Miso Customs um, gear shift lever replacement with the hidden ECT button. And as many of you guys know, if you drive a Tacoma, you're hitting that button often. So it's kind of nice to have it right there on the gear shift lever. So this video is really just a quick install and impressions. And uh, with all that being said, let's get right into it. Okay, so just to take a look at uh, what comes in this thing. So you open it up. There is the, uh, the wiring harness with a cool MISO sticker. And... Uh, Looks like uh, got some, uh, I guess those are extra buttons. I don't really know. Um, and here is the shift knob in all of its glory. If I can just get it out. Hard to do that holding the camera. But here you go. So it, it looks... Um, very close to factory, but notice that right there you get the button, which is pretty cool. And actually there's two buttons. Um, so you can make the other button do something else if you want. Make a nice satisfying clicking sound. That's cool. Um, but other than that, it looks pretty OEM, nice leather, right? Just like this guy right here. Cool. So one of the things we have to do now is I actually have to undo the um, Expeditions Essentials um, like accessory mount thing that I put on, which actually adds a little bit of complexity just because some of these bolts are uh, pretty, um, pretty hard to reposition, but they're in there. So I'm going to have to take all this stuff off, um, which is fine. And then we're going to work on taking off this bezel. Um, to try to get uh, lower down, remove some of this stuff to get access to this button right here, the wiring behind it, uh, and then basically tap into that, route it in, and get access to this guy here, replace this. So that's really what we're doing. Um, so uh, hopefully we don't run into any problems, but uh, let's jump in and see what happens. Just a quick uh, close-up view of what's going on here. Bezel's removed. Um, I was able just to pry this back. For whatever reason, there's a clip in here that's kind of tight, and so I don't want to pull it too much because it actually might break it. But that's okay because it's given me enough room to be able to shove my hand back there and pop out the button and uh, have access to that wire, which is what we need to do. So uh, let's get the kit and uh, tap in there.
Okay, so <laughs> this is the part where um, I admit I made a pretty big mistake, which is if you take a look at the wires here, I had to solder and uh, heat shrink uh, these wires back together because when I was trying to install it here, um, basically, um, as you spin it on, these wires are so brittle that they actually snapped on me. So it was totally my error, um, but these wires do seem a little bit too fragile, but you know, what do you do? So anyway, repair is done. Let's get this thing on. Connection. Now I, uh, obviously things are still apart, but I wanna test it to make sure that it works properly. So let's give this a shot. Trucks on. And here we go, pushing the button now. Yay! Right there. On, off, on, off. Very cool. I hope you guys could hear me. There's actually a crow up in this tree right now making all kinds of noise. Um, <clears throat> so, assuming you can hear me, um, the, uh, the install overall was not straightforward for me. Uh, there wasn't a uh, user manual or instruction guide that I found. There was a link in the box that uh, takes you to a, a video, I suppose, but it didn't work. So, um, I just figured it was pretty straightforward and uh, it actually wasn't only because I was unfortunately a little too rough with those wires when I was screwing down the knob and it snapped those two very important wires which actually send the signal from the button to the actual functionality you want. Um, that being said, I was able to solder it back together, button it all up and uh, we're all set there. So I'm going to call that a win. Um, but I don't think we're done yet because as you can see, um, recently I've done a little bit of my own social distancing and uh, I've hit some mud and uh, call it OCD, but I like to have a clean truck when I'm done playing with it. So um, we are gonna do that right now. We're gonna give it a quick wash. So hopefully you uh, stay tuned and watch a little bit of that. And uh, in the meantime, guys, I hope you all stay safe and healthy and uh, wear your masks and gloves. All right, see you on the next one.